Hi and welcome to day 5 of a 112 day winter grind set program. Today again I trained with my younger brother Charlie, uh, he was amazing. Um, I cut my hair also yesterday, so that was interesting. Uh, we're doing a phase of short hair again. Let's see how that goes. Urgh. Waking up in the morning and training in the morning isn't my favourite, but it has to be done. And as you can see here, when I'm sitting close to the camera, um, I'm making some gains. My arms are getting bigger. And uh, you guys only see the conventional angles. Uh, but I do weigh 80 kilos now, which is quite interesting. Um, I only believe that that body weight will increase over time. Talking about body weight, we went on to pull-ups later. Charlie got two sterner pull-ups, which really shows just how difficult this exercise is. And uh, I, of course, went and uh, did seven proper dead hang sternum pull-ups. Um, yeah, this isn't a fun exercise, but today I finally got all seven reps in a row. I didn't miss a rep and then have to put in extra effort to get the final rep, for example. Today, uh, I had a very successful set with, uh, with these. And just to show how difficult the exercise is, Charlie could barely get two, and look at him here banging out 14 regular pull-ups. Just to prove just how difficult these sternum pull-ups are. And uh, most people trading nowadays, they do some pull-ups, they do some lat pull-downs, they don't do a lot of rows. And um, if you don't do a lot of rows, you will have a weak, you know, mid uh, to upper back. So basically everything in your upper back, including your spinal erectors, except for your lats uh, in most people, uh, are severely underdeveloped. And it really shows uh, because a lot of people can do many, many reps on the regular pull-up, including me. I mean, I can do 23 reps. Uh, at, that, at least that's my record. Uh, well, my record on sternum pull-ups is eight reps. So that kind of just shows how difficult that exercise truly is. Moving on, uh, another difficult exercise. Charlie's doing regular push-ups here. He's doing a chest to floor. So he's going all the way down and pretty much all the way up. Very fast tempo. Um, so Charlie, by the way, guys, he's really good at push-ups. His best is, his best in uh, recent times is, uh, forty-two reps, and his best in his lifetime, I believe. I believe it's seventy reps, although he didn't do a, uh, full depth on those. And a lot of people think that they can get a hundred push-ups, but when you really do full depth, you'll realize just how difficult this exercise truly is. And yes, it does build muscle. I know this because now that I really started doing push-ups, I can bench 100 kilos again, um, just from doing push-ups and the handstand push-ups. So uh, that really proves how potent this exercise is. And I'm doing an even better version, which is the knuckle push-ups, and I'm doing them with a fairly close grip. So going really, really deep on my reps, and uh, the range of motion is very long, which really means that you're building more muscle per rep. Um, you'll be a lot stronger if you can do 40 reps uh, with this form than if you can do 40 reps with a regular form. Uh, the only problem with the knuckle push-ups is that it kind of hurts your knuckles. Um, although that's kind of the point as well. I want to build up my knuckles. Next exercise. Uh, the pistol squats were once again challenging for Charlie. He tried a few different techniques. Um, this is a very difficult exercise and he can actually do... Um, we, we uh, a couple days ago, we grabbed a fire extinguisher, extinguisher and he did 12 reps on his good leg with a fire extinguisher in his an hands or in his arms. He kind of bear hugged it, which really shows how much balance plays a role in this. Um, if you are stiff in your ankles, you won't be able to do this properly. Um, so I think Charlie needs to stretch and he needs to practice. Uh, because he can do this weighted, but he can barely do it body weight, which is kind of interesting. Me and myself, I think it's a lot easier without weights, but that, that, that maybe that's just me. Um, but me and Charlie, at least me, I don't know. Charlie's going back to school in a couple of days. Um, I'm still at work, obviously. But I do believe that I'll hit 20 reps on both legs with this exercise. And as you can see here, the right leg is difficult to balance, but I really do have the strength in that leg. Um, I feel like a hydraulic press, like a piston, uh, although my left leg is significantly less coordinated and more wobbly. 
but we won't get less wobbly if we don't work on it. So that's what we're doing right here. And uh, as you can see, I do have the strength to press it up, but I am weak on this left side. Uh, so I do like this exercise. We're doing some uni unilateral work for once. And um, in my entire life, I've only been doing kind of regular barbell squats. I've, done, I've been doing very little pestle squats, very, very little lunges uh, due to knee pain, which I used to have. Onto the deadlifts, as you can see here. Uh, Charlie has very good leverages for this lift. He starts with his hips a bit low sometimes, um, but he adjusts as the set goes on. And as you can see, he's incredibly strong in these. I mean, um, he's previously done 130 kilos for 10 reps with a regular mixed grip. And I don't know how that's even possible, since that would mean that his max would be around 170. Um, but he can only max 155. So Charlie is very, very good at deadlift rep work, although he does find these double overhands difficult and I find them slightly easier because I have bigger hands but his grip strength is very very good and when we do handshakes and stuff he actually can squeeze my hand harder than I can squeeze his his is that if that makes sense so uh, I don't understand why he's not as strong as hold, at holding a bar that's the question of the ages here comes Ivan um, with the long setup time I do believe that I have a longer spine and shorter legs, uh, which does make deadlifting a little bit more difficult. Um, I, I think Charlie's better leverages than me. But, I mean, he weighs 69, I weigh 79, 80. So I really shouldn't complain. Uh, it's quite incredible, actually, that we're doing the same sets and reps uh, on this exercise. And don't get me wrong, 10 reps on this is very, very difficult for me uh, to do with good form especially since this is my fifth day in a row and I mean I'm going to be deadlifting 112 days in a row on this program so uh, hopefully I don't get fatigued or any more fatigued than I'm fatigued now because then it's going to get difficult next week I believe is 11 reps on this exercise and uh, we'll see if Charlie joins in if he does he'll do 11 as well um, but these deadlifts really build up the weak links and calisthenics I'm going to make a video on this in the future are amazing for like every single muscle group except for the posterior chain. So the entire spinal erectors, the glutes and the hamstrings. Calisthenics doesn't really, like there, it, there are no calisthenics exercises that are feasible that really hit those muscles hard, except for you can do body, the fact that you can do body weight hamstring curls. That's the only thing. Um, anything to do with glutes, anything to do with lower back. Um, you can't, I don't believe Maybe you could maximally develop it with calisthenics if you did like a million, a million back extensions. But still, then um, I do believe that deadlifts and especially good mornings, which I don't really do myself because I'm so terrible at them, really build a lot more back strength than calisthenics ever will. And um, apart from those muscles, it's really the the abductors and the adductors that you can't really hit as well with calisthenics especially the ab abductors, because if you're really doing a bodyweight squat, even if you do it very wide, you're not getting that real tension on those muscles, unfortunately. Uh, although I do believe that the abductors and the adductors are hit quite well on pistol squats. So yeah, if you want to do calisthenics, guys, please add in deadlifts, or you will get muscular imbalances and you will feel terrible. You will become we weaker, and the point of training is to be strong. There are a lot of guys out there who train at home um, who do a lot of push-ups. They can do a lot of pull-ups. Uh, but when they want to lift a cupboard, they can't do it because their lower back is going to hurt because it's weak. We don't want that. We want to be strong everywhere. And that's why I'm doing this jump rope as well. We're really building up you know, the toe strength, the, 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 uh, the fascia underneath my feet, the muscles underneath my feet. We're building up the muscle of the shin. We're building up the calves. And uh, we're also pumping blood into, you know, the rest of our leg muscles. But really, it is the calves. And uh, I do believe that when I get to 20 minutes with this, uh, my calves are going to be significantly larger. Um, probably to where it's going to be measurable. Uh, maybe even visible. So yeah, 720 jumps it was today, uh, which is more than a few. And uh, the funny thing was that I did them all in a row. The change I made today is I grabbed a heavier jump rope, um, so that was interesting, and it actually was quite difficult on my forearms, um, 
the uh, the back side of my forearm uh, kind of got a pump uh, at rep 30. And from then on, I tried to, you know, figure out what am I going to do to make this stop? And uh, yeah, I managed to push through the entire thing. So I'm looking forward towards getting 20 minutes with this. And uh, after that, I may start running, um, especially when uh, spring starts to roll around. Uh, alternatively, I will run, run on the lake this winter, which I'll record that as well, because it's just such a beautiful environment to be in. I love living in Sweden, and I love the Swedish winter. One day closer to winter, guys. One day closer to Christmas. One day closer to New Year's. Let's fucking go. Everyone else is making, you know, they're not even thinking, really, but everyone else is, like, thinking about next year, New Year's resolutions, we're already on the grind, guys, and I hope you guys are joining me in as well, because my job is to motivate and inspire you, also show you what's possible for a somewhat normal person. The only thing abnormal about me is my mindset, and that can be trained. So all of you can become as strong as me, which is absolutely amazing. Good luck to you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow on day six.